Hey what's going on YouTube Paradox here and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video and today we are going to showcase another EX Luffy gameplay but this time around with defense and HP build so let me just show you the metal set that I use for him so this metal set I believe no one actually have tried it on him yeah so this will be the first time exclusively you guys will be seeing this metal set and the reason why i use this metal set is because number one if you look at magician metal it says when you kill an opponent reduce the cooldown time of skill one by six percent and as we all know luffy is a killing machine so this is of course helpful to him and then hawkins medal when using skill 2 reduce cd time of skill 1 by 3 percent so the reason why this is good is that number one if let's say you are in normal form and you change to bounce man form you already use your skill 2 and after that once you change into bounce man form you will easily get back your skill 2 again so if you use it again you will have another cooldown time reduction of skill 1 by 3% so that this alone gives you easy 6% uh, skill uh, uh, sorry skill 1 cooldown reduction because like whenever you use skill 2 you easily get it yeah so uh, yeah it is that simple and then finally ulti medal when you knock back an enemy reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 5% so this is really helpful if you change into snake man form so if you change into snake man form like from normal to snake man skill 1 have knocked back and also once you are in statement form skill 2 have knocked back as well so that alone easily gives you 10% if your skill lands uh, towards the opponent if it hits the opponent and uh, the reason why I am building uh, this metal set with defense and HP build is because Luffy already have amazing attack buff so when attacking an enemy 3% uh, attack increase up to 75% so with this set he will have 70% uh, HP 70% defense and also after the buff uh, attack increase by 75% so yeah kind of like ex kaido yeah where you can get like all three stats uh like maximized kind of and um honestly i've tried playing luffy a lot of time in league battle and i'd say the damage output yeah like after you get the buff is good is awesome is decent to kill opponent all right so uh let me just show you my uh, support percentage so it's 162.9 percent and i'm focusing on attacker straw hat pirates captain new world some paramecia and worst generation and that's it so let's get into the gameplay shall we all right so first match is at barati night we have uh ex uh kaido yamato and also young dofi akainu so 196k total party power we are definitely going against uh, a much higher total party power, 202k. And look at all the extreme characters, it's level 100 boost 2. Even Young Dofi is level 100 boost 2. So, yeah, these three are still scary opponents for Luffy. Because, like I've mentioned so many times, Luffy is quite squishy. But that is why I'm doing today's gameplay, to showcase to you whether can defense and HP build makes him... Uh, a bit tankier yeah especially for you to have that small room of uh, of being able to do mistake while not being dead so that you can later find opportunity to kill the opponent so yeah uh, other than that not just that yeah uh, I just want to show to you guys that even even with defense and HP build Luffy after he uh, is able to stack his attack buff yeah can still be very deadly like in, in, in other words if you can say you use defense and HP build right you you are still able to kill opponent and land huge damage so you can see there even my normal attack right it does massive damage yeah um for a normal attack yeah it's really good and okay wait for the final blow boom ko so okay no doubt i do have team boost but yeah i mean honestly it's a i think it's a decent damage enough to kill the opponent like if you only focus on say for example attack and defense or attack and hp build right you will have 
like too excessive damage like I don't know maybe 40k maybe I don't know 60-70k per per hit you know uh, 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 maybe sometimes even when when they crit uh, they deal like very very high damage but as you can see even without extra attack stats in my metal set right thanks to the buff I am still able to land huge damage to the opponent. So, of course, I would like to uh, mention here that uh, this uh, is uh, achievable and possible because of my high um, support. All right, but yeah, still, I just wanna give you some idea how it works, and if you feel like it's good, you can try it. Okay. Like, I'm not forcing here. Okay, so um, 40 seconds left. This Dofi jump down. I use my skill, 25k, I think. And after that, I just, you know, stay close to him to kill him. So, see, one punch, one single punch, it gives you 5k damage output. So, yeah, man. And that's a level 100 boost to Dofi, bro. And we are of the same element. So, yeah, like I said, like, honestly, it's the damage is enough. The damage is enough to kill the opponent uh, and uh, having a tap build not to say that it is bad but I just find it again a bit too excessive but uh, I'm not gonna lie it does help especially in a situation situation right, when you are uh, uh, using a metal set that focuses on attack and defense yeah your normal attack hits hard and and yeah it's easier to kill opponent that that way so in some situations, I do realize that with defense and HP build, I couldn't kill the opponent fast enough. Yeah, I have to admit that because I mean, I'm, I'm, I need to tell the truth uh, so that you guys can uh, properly consider. But yeah, today I have six gameplays to show you that if you play well, yeah, you can actually rely on this build. Okay, so 202k total party power and we are going against 192k so yeah uh, 10k lower and uh, they have Akainu or Dan okay but the Akainu and the Luffy is five star so yeah let's see let's see how it goes um yeah but i think we have yeah number four player who don't use uh, extreme character i don't i can't recall uh, his other character but yeah whatever okay so Akainu let's go so I just wait for him to use his skill too because uh, I can, you know, dodge it. So you see, even though my dodge failed and I re received the attack head on, uh, I wasn't hurt too much by it. But uh, of course, let me remind you here that this Akainu earlier, I realized that he's a 5 star. But man, Akainu is still Akainu, bro. So, <laughs> uh, but of course, we all know that Luffy is actually a counter to him. So. Yeah, I'm gonna disregard this battle because I should have been able to easily kill him. Like I said, because he's a, a five star. So uh, what I'm trying to say is that I'm not proud in winning that battle. So okay, against Roger, I'm able to trammel him. So uh, as you can see there, see three k, five k, three k, and yeah, that is just normal attack against an element that uh, Luffy is uh, uh, weaker against yeah and easy kill that um, red law as well and boom got him and thanks to that team boost I'm able to easily kill him I mean you can see that one single punch gives out 10k damage because of the team boost without it it should be like 5k 3k something like that so yeah as i mentioned earlier it's sufficient bro like once you have stacked up the uh, buff right and you can see there again i'm able to tank that roger's damage so use my skill one because i know i'm able to knock him back so i'm not scared yeah but i jump down i don't have much health left i need to kill this god so it's annoying and law here change back to my normal form and boom utilizing the invincibility uh use my skill to and kill that red law easy so so far so good 45 seconds left um yeah i mean thank god because of my defense and hp build i'm able to tank that rogers hit so right now i'm just waiting for the right opportunity film ah i missed I missed but I still have my skill too so I should be able to kill him easy. Let's go! So okay the multi hit of course doesn't do much damage but thanks to that team boost that comes at the right time I'm able to kill that red kid easy. 
So, yep. Um, so far, so good. Try to sneak attack. However, this Odell is good with his perfect dodge. Try to get him again with my skill too, but I missed. You know, he's really quick to run away. And that's it. We won the match. 6.7k score. Not too shabby. And I'm not the MVP. Yeah, it's okay. But I think I do have the most kill. Yep, 8 kills. Um, but not the MVP. No problem. Okay, so next, Dressrosa City, we have player number 8 who uses non-meta and our opponents, most of them are using metas or extreme character. So, let's go. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about Hawkins medal set, the medal set that I use. So, I think it's quite lovely. Uh, I realize that I always have that skill one whenever I need it. Uh, well, not to say that if you use other medal, you don't get skill 1 quick because uh, honestly Luffy's skill cooldowns are really fast even if you use the normal like Luffy trio set or Boa trio set yeah you, you, you can actually get the skill back easy but yeah with the metal set that I use since I'm focusing on skill 1 it is so easy to get back my skill 1 every time I knock back I get my skill 1 I use my skill 2 I get my skill 1 so <laughs> Yeah man, and Luffy's skill have a lot of knockback, so that's why it, it, it helps to regain your skill one. So, okay, easy kill Akainu, no problemo. And I specifically focus uh, uh, towards my snake man form because I my aim is to capture that flag. So no problem, against straight kick, change back to normal form. Just wait for him to make a move and boom, utilize that invincibility and kill him easy again with my skill 2 so yeah if you change to bounce man form right you kind of use your skill 2 twice so again with uh, hawkins metal set it helps you to get back your skill 1 again so that is why i just find that this medal is quite okay for him it might not be the best yeah the skill cooldowns might not be that much of a difference but yeah, it's not bad, and the text is quite okay as well, so it's pretty decent for a skill 1 set. Uh, and okay, so right now, I was hit again by that Roger, and thanks to my build and also my defense buff, I'm able to tank that hit. Because if not, right, I think I'm pretty much dead. And uh, I know he's using his skill 2, quickly use my skill 2, and boom! Kill both opponent easy thanks to the help of my ally. I think this is RP Jaren. So RP Jaren, if you are watching, shout out to you, bro. Thanks for saving me there. Love you, bro. Okay, so um, so far so good. Sneak attack, and I got a bro. Nicely done. So okay, I chill, I chill, I chill. I bait him to use his skill too, as expected. And bam, let's go. My skill two lands at him just at the right time uh, like right after when he dodged uh, my skill 2 is able to hit him to hurt him and easily kill him so I'm looking for my chance and boom killing that red kid easy so so far so good one of my allies is able to capture the opponent's spawn flag and perfect dodge that one use my skill however he got perfect dodge as well I should have just you know baited but Beta is dodge, but yeah, the match almost ends anyway. So 8.5k score. So guys, defense and HP build. Luffy can kill. Luffy can kill. Like defense and HP build, and this guy have like what five kills, eight kills. So that goes to show that this build is quite relevant for him. Yeah. Okay. Moving on, 199k, and we are going against. 196k yeah so yeah again a bit lower but uh not that weak as well so that's why i uh put in the gameplay into this episode so of course again coming back to what i was saying earlier the reason why i'm able to still uh, deal uh, quite large damage to opponent is because of my huge support percentage so okay back to the game i'm able to get them both and easily kill boom easily kill yamato that is so satisfying and with uh kaido well you know nothing to fear i can easily kill him so i just take my time and you know play with him 
And yep, once that's done, um, the Kaido here is trying to capture the flag, so no problem. Yeah, my job is to help him secure the flag, so I'm able to stop Akainu before he actually use his skill too or whatnot. So use my skill too, even though I know it's a waste because he does have that auto dodge. But well, thanks to that Kobe. Um, Entering my attack area, I easily kill him And with my normal attack, I just annihilate that Akainu So easy, so right now I have some attack buff I jump down to defend the flag because my Akaido ally up there uh, For sure uh, is able to guard the flag easy So change to my snake man form And spam my skill to right before the match ends because i know well the opponent cannot do anything uh, at this rate so that's it i am the mvp so i give good job to kaido and uh five kills within that short period of time so i don't think i play that bad so ggs all right moving on ex luffy akainu um yamato i think 193k total party power and we are going again 190k and yeah and okay player number one he's using none meta but the rest is like luffy akainu yamato level 100 plus two and i think in this match i don't even fight that player number one who uses bony so yeah i mean i mean what i'm trying to say is that i fight against the metas and yeah we won the match so Right, easy tremor and easy kill against Akainu. So and guys, that that is like even before I have attack buff. But well, Akainu is red element, so yeah, I have to say because of uh, having weaker element, uh, maybe that's the main reason why I can easily kill him even without my attack buff. So without wasting more time, I straight. Uh, I hit, uh, sorry, I hit straight towards the Kaido because I need to kill him. So he used his skill too, but well, sadly, he still caught in my uh, tremor. And boom, even though he can tank that hit, but well, he cannot last long. So with a few of my normals, I'm able to kill him easy. Man, one dragon down, another dragon just respawned. It is so annoying. So. <laughs> Alright, I was not back, but yep, like I told you, I am able to tank that hit. And uh, of course, thanks to my defense buff as well. Yeah, not gonna lie, so that is really helpful. But uh, of course, because of my huge HP reserve, um, yeah, that, that helps me to tank that hit a lot more. So, use my skill too, I think I hit him. However, I use my another skill too a bit too early. So, my aim is to kill this Akainu. Yep, got it. And next is the Kaido, but boy, I mean fighting the opponent at their spawn flag is not easy because, well, another opponent keep on respawning, so yeah, it, it's tough, it's tough, but well, I'm an attacker and while uh, uh, attacking their spawn flag, I did watch out for the map, yeah, so uh, as long as... Uh, you know, uh, my allies don't need my help defending the flag. So my job is to be here to fight to distract the opponents at their flag. So, okay, saw that dodge, use my skill too, and boom, got him. Yeah, like I mean, I'm still able to hurt him. And guys, remember, when I punch him with my skill too, right? The opponent have team boost, but I'm still able to hurt him back. So yeah, again, like I have to okay. emphasize, defense and HP build is actually not bad for him. All right, so I uh, got my team boost, sneak attack, kill that Yamato, and uh, right now uh, trying to get that red Luffy. So this Roger still my kill, but well, whatever. As long as you guys get the job done. So uh, try to you know hurt Kaido because this Kaido is not in his treasure area. So. That's it, 7.2k score, um, 3 flags captured, and I'm the MVP, so GG's. We have 2 Dragon Kaido, so once we have uh, uh, dominated the match, yeah. in other words, once we have captured more flags than the opponent, it's easy to defend them. Alright, so 
Uh, I think this is our final match again at Desrosa City. 195k total party power. We are going against 191k. So yeah, slight difference again. And um, player number 6 is level 100 goes to Kai Dragon Kaido user. So let's go. Um, we do have one Kaido as well. And I saw that the opponent have two. So yep. Guys, if you are an EX Luffy user, again, I would like to highlight always always go for dragon kaido because you don't want kaido to be able to defend the flag once his ally is able to capture it so yeah it, it's it's really tough to get the flag back so that's why at the start of the match while they still haven't like a fill in the treasure gauge or while they still haven't uh, fully maximized their defense buff yeah your job is to kill them as soon as possible so okay i need to um handle this miss golden week first and yep easy kill once she's caught uh, once she's caught in my skill too it's yeah it's a no-brainer she, uh, she's pretty much dead so okay right now i'm helping my ally boom skill too i'm able to kill somebody thanks to my team boost and i need to uh, get rid of these um ex luffy first because uh, EX Luffy against EX Luffy, well, <laughs> it's it's a matter of who got to uh, hit with their skill first. So change to my Snake Man form because I need to uh, really capture this one quick. But uh, I saw that EX Luffy, nope, I'm not gonna let myself be hit by him. So I chill, you know, grab that meat because, um, yeah, my main priority is to stay alive and uh, if I can regain my HP easy why not right so gain Dragon's Kaido and I think ah I missed okay which is really really bad so right now we have two EX Luffy trying to fight against one Dragon Kaido and okay change back to normal form okay so I'm gonna let him first actually but I know why I use my skill one that is a bad call uh, and thanks to that team boost oh shoot okay 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 thank god I'm able to run away <laughs> I can't remember this match so sorry guys that's why I'm hesitating a bit when I'm comment uh, doing the commentary but okay so uh, this Kaido uh, is forced to uh, go out from his treasure area because well I think he cannot rely on his ally so he has to come out but coming out from your treasure area Kaido is a very bad decision and guys see once Kaido is out from, from his treasure area uh, my other teammates easily steal that flag and if only he doesn't uh, leave his flag right at least the team uh, should have this flag on their side like by now they should have at least two flags but sadly wrong decision Kaido so that's it uh, so 7.8k score I have proven to you guys how defense and HP build works so hopefully you guys can consider this build and uh, I leave it to you guys to decide so that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel also have a good day yeah and I'll see you guys next time take care ciao